On top of photography, I also love and teach yoga. And I think it can be very relevant for photographers because we are constantly lugging around heavy backpacks and putting a lot of strain on our shoulders and our backs and our hips. So here are some yoga poses that you can do out in the field to hopefully alleviate some of those strains. So first pose is puppy pose. And this is a variation I actually like to use just with my tripod. It's not just for holding my camera. It can also be a great stretching tool. So I'll put my hands on it, walk my feet back, slowly lower my chest down toward the ground. And I just felt my back crack about 12 times. It's such a good shoulder and back stretch. I think it's one of the best poses for photographers. Maybe we lift one shoulder up and then the other. And come up. Next pose is a forward fold with a ragdoll variation. And this pose is excellent for any time you're like craning your neck looking through your viewfinder. So feet about hip width distance apart. Slowly start to fold forward, bend at the hips, not on your waist. Try to keep your back straight. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. Bring your hands, grab opposite elbows. Let your chest or your stomach try to rest maybe on your thighs if you can. Let your head hang heavily. Release every muscle in your neck. Maybe shake yes and no. Roll your head around. And then just let all the muscles relax in your neck. Maybe sway side to side. And then for a little ending, I usually like to kind of shake it out. Be a little silly and come back up. The third pose is one that I think is important for, we have to challenge ourselves, not just creatively, but in every aspect of our lives. So let's play with a little bit of balance. Shift your weight onto your right foot. This is a standing figure four pose. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Slowly draw your left knee down toward the ground. Sit your hips back, come into a little bit of a squat. It's okay if you lose your balance, it's okay if you fall. I think it's important that we challenge ourselves because if we don't, we don't grow. So see if you can hold it, continue drawing your left knee down toward the ground, feel that stretch in your, in your hips and in your glutes. Slowly come up and you know, switch sides. wide-legged forward fold. So stand with your feet about a little wider than hip width distance, toes pointing in. Bend at the hips instead of the waist. So we're trying to keep our back as straight as possible. Bring your hands behind your back, interlace them. This is a really great shoulder stretch for when you're carrying heavy gear up for a long time. So slowly fold forward, slight bend in your knees and reach your arms forward. Let your head hang heavily. Come into a deep yogi squat. So feet again about hip width distance. Slowly sit yourself down. And if you are a little bit tight in your hips or your knees, you can sit up a little bit. Um, but bring your hands to touch. Place your triceps, the insides of your arms, into the insides of your knees. Press your hands into one another to press or to lift your uh, legs apart from one another. Really feel that stretch in your inner hamstrings and your hips. Maybe we rock side to side. This is a really great pose for when you're you know, down trying to get those cool low angles, this is a really helpful pose to make that a little bit of an easier pose to get into to shoot. Head to knee pose. Come into a seat, bring your left leg in toward your pelvis, straighten your right leg out. Square yourself off toward your right foot, inhale your arms up. Again, try to keep your back as straight as possible 
slowly reach toward your foot. It's okay if you need to bend your knee, maybe you reach toward your calf, that's okay. Yoga is not a competition, we're just here to feel good. So listen to your body. Maybe with each breath you can go a little bit deeper. Our hamstrings often get tight from all those days where we're sitting behind our desk editing, and so this is a really great release for that. Slowly inhale up. And I hope that these have been helpful. I highly encourage you to try some of these poses and to incorporate them into your daily life, whether that's when you're out shooting in nature or at home when you need an editing break. Uh, please drop a comment below, let me know if you try them, and we'll see you out there.